What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So after a few weeks of getting cards from the Duelist Pack 22, looks like Konami has finally returned to the core booster set of Chaos Impact. They just revealed a brand new Rocky Boy for us. This is Congrade, Prime Ape of the Conglomerates, and uh, Konami's going hard in the paint with those puns there. Anyways, this is an Earth Attribute Rock-type monster, level 8, 3,000 attack, 2,000 defense, so it's actually a pretty big Rocky Boy. It cannot be normal summons or summons set uh, must be special summoned by a card effect effect number one if a monster or monsters is sent from your opponent's hand or deck to the graveyard you can special summon this card from your hand and face down defense position effect number two if this if this card is flipped face up you can target up to two cards on the field destroy them okay so we've seen monsters that summon themselves very similar to this some of them have even infiltrated the meta cards like fantastical dragon phantasme chaos hunter etc etc I think the summoning conditions of this card are like incredibly simple to activate, especially in a meta like this where, I mean, number one, just think about like the entire danger archetype. When your opponent activates a danger, if they discard any monsters at uh, any time during that danger effect, you can summon this. Also, there are the nightmare monsters. People even turn zero will use like nightmare mermaid. They'll discard usually a monster from their hand to go for their combo. So that's pretty easy. Keep in mind, if your opponent activates any of of, you know a lot of the commonly played hand traps whether it be effect failure ash blossom those cards also fulfill the condition because they are sent from the hand to the graveyard as cause and it can even be something like salaman great gazelle or some of the other like orcus you know plays where they send the monster from their deck to the graveyard just in their natural combo that will also fulfill this card summoning condition so it's pretty easy to get this card on board i don't think anyone is really disputing that and i will say that this card does actually have excellent stats. I mean, a 3,000 attack monster, it does have to be summoned face down in defense position, but it still at least has a 2,000 booty. Another interesting thing about this card is none of the effects are hard once per turn, so you can summon three of this in one turn if you choose, and also you can if you can find a way to flip it face down, flip it face up, you can keep on popping your opponent's monsters. I just think that, like, the real problem that this card is going to have, in my opinion, especially if you're kind of going second, is the fact that it doesn't really offer any protection for itself i mean it is going to put itself on the field so it does give you a little bit of field presence but it kind of is vulnerable to anything whether your opponent wants to just kill it with something like a dengirisu or put it back in your hand with something like a salaman great mirage style yo bounce or something like that you know konami just recently gave us the deus x crawler and i kind of feel like it you know that card has kind of protection where if your opponent targets it then it kind of like puts it or it flips itself face up and gets rid of that targeting effect so that's kind of nice this card doesn't really do that and that's kind of a shame now personally i kind of think that this card would work best in decks like subterror or maybe crawlers because those decks are naturally accustomed to setting monsters on the field flipping them up getting effects etc etc and while that sounds fine those are both slow control decks and decks that ideally want to go first i feel like this card is i mean it's borderline unusable if you're going first turn zero if you open with this card you know it's just sitting dead in your hand you're not going to be able to use it until at least your opponent's turn and i don't know if those decks can afford to run cards like that can you really afford to have this big level eight monster just kind of sitting in your hand when you know you want to go first if you go second with this card and you're playing those decks like it's fine because you can just kind of like hopefully set it from your hand during your opponent's turn if it lives you know get rid of a couple of their cards and that seems kind of cool maybe even flip it face down and use its effect multiple multiple times in a turn that'd be dope but i just feel like um you know if it if it offered protection for itself i feel like that would give it just so much more utility because i really think that um every deck that you summon this against is going to be able to kill it like i, I think every deck in the meta would have no problem killing this thing considering it offers no protection but it's an interesting card nonetheless and uh who knows maybe it'll even be part of like some crazy archetype or something like that but whatever you guys think of congrade primate of the conglomerate leave it in the comment section below you know if crawlers or scepter get more support this card could be something anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on the notification bell for daily videos